I was up y'all was popping was cracking it's Steve Austin reacts to this impressive vid. My girl is back, okay? I feel like she's been away for a bit, <laughs> but she's back with some more tea. Uh, this vid is titled Beyonce reacts to getting canceled. What? Canceled? Um, and Nicki Minaj links with Megan's ex BFF Kelsey. All right, Nicki. You doing everything but <laughs> getting getting this album together. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hear what she has. But sure, let us see what's going on with these people as well. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Beyonce yes, has been working y'all and she has not been paying any mind to some of these rumors about her. She just recently dropped two <laughs> promotional commercial videos. She's actually doing a collaboration yes. with Levi's and she started her own yes. jean line. Also, oh, she, she dropped a working. promo video for her Sir Davis whiskey line. And I heard a lot of good things about her whiskey line as well. I didn't even know she had whiskey until I reacted to that video. I don't think I put it up yet. I did not. <laughs> It'll go up after this video. I, I've been pre-recording too many videos. I gotta chill out. Um, but I just reacted to a video where Jason Lee was talking about uh about Beyonce. And um, yeah, in that video it was mentioned that she has a whiskey line. I'm like, what? I didn't know about this. I also liked her promo commercial. It looked very expensive. She looked good as well. Good. Everybody looked good. I will say that. Everyone looked good. I like whiskey. That's my drink of choice. Unbothered. <laughs> and I believe some of these latest drops have kind of been Beyonce's way of quieting some of the salacious rumors <laughs> about her. Now, for those who don't know, Beyonce and Jay-Z have been targeted because of their affiliation oh, to the fallen mogul P. Diddy. And Diddy is facing some serious charges right now. He was arrested for racketeering and trafficking. And he also recorded a lot of celebrities without their knowledge. He allegedly was recording them and using it as blackmail. So a lot of the celebrities who are linked to him are being under fire right now because who knows, they might be on the tapes. And it's not really just Jay-Z and Beyonce people are talking about. I've seen some people bring up Ashton Kutcher, Usher, Kim Kardashian, and the whole Kardashian clan, J-Lo. I mean, a lot of people have been saying that Jennifer Lopez is on those tapes, and I wouldn't be surprised. Now, we can't just say any and everybody is on the yeah, tapes. Yeah, they said Ben saw Somebody the tapes. Somebody had the audacity to say that her. Aretha Franklin was on those right, tapes. No, nobody wants to see that. Yeah. People are doing too much at this point, no, sure. okay? <laughs> like, this is just getting ridiculous. But it comes to show <laughs> you that awful. no one is safe. No one is safe. And celebrities have been getting backlash left and right, including Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z in particular has been getting more backlash because of his close connection to Diddy. And Beyonce has been kind of labeled guilty by association. So there has been this trend on TikTok saying that she knows and it's really just a conspiracy video that I people mean, put together and they're knows. saying that she, know she knows what's going on with Diddy. They're accusing her of also taking out Aaliyah, Left Eye, right. and Michael Jackson, which is so thing. ridiculous. You know I can't believe people believe no, this. No, this is a but troll. They've Nobody been using J. Cole's song, that. She Knows, There's and no putting way. these clips together and just painting Beyonce out to be this big bad wolf. And I was just like, whoa. I was looking at some of the videos on TikTok and I was like, man, people are really ready to cancel this woman without. Michael D. Jackson? How old was she That's when he died? Crazy. That's How old was she crazy. when left eye died? Makes me feel a little bad <laughs> I'll just say anything. For Beyonce. And I'm not saying that she's perfect or above reproach, sure. but can you at least give her the benefit of the doubt <laughs> that she's not a villain? Like, come on, y'all. That's crazy. But Beyonce did what she does best. She addressed the rumors without addressing them. Oh. She posted this video promoting her Sir Davis whiskey line. And in the video, she's all smiles. She looks completely unbothered. And I noticed that her mother, Tina Knowles, reposted the video and she said, meanwhile, in Paris, celebrated a dinner for Sir Davis. So basically what they're saying is while y'all brokies are chatting about what we doing, we living it up in Paris. Ain't nothing bothering us. <laughs> also, Beyonce seemingly put those divorce rumors to rest. Now, if you don't know, there was yeah, this rumors. insider who revealed that Jay-Z was secretly meeting with a divorce lawyer and a criminal defense lawyer. That don't mean they still not This is about. all alleged. It wasn't confirmed, but that was a rumor put out there by anti-lawyer. And so this led a lot of us to believe that maybe Jay-Z and Beyonce were splitting up in the midst of this whole Diddy fiasco. 
But Beyonce is like, I'm not leaving my man. She actually posted pictures of her and Jay-Z together. So she pretty much shut down those rumors as well. Now, I will say this. Even though Beyonce looks refreshed and unbothered, he her does. husband, Jay-Z, Mr. Sean he Carter, like this, is though. looking stressed in this picture. He looks like he's worried about something. Something has been Girl, keeping him up at maybe night. He busted. And I hope it ain't the Diddy situation. <laughs> he tired. That's but I don't know. I simply don't know. And honestly, he it's always wrong to speculate that. if we don't have any proof. Exactly, girl. And the Diddy situation has gotten really serious. It's always been very serious, but recently there have been 120 accusers who have come out against him. In fact, this lawyer by the name of Tony Busby did a whole press conference and he put up a hotline number for victims to call in Not so he can hotline. represent them. The whole thing has really become Ooh, a spectacle at this point, but what really, really disturbed me was the fact that some of these victims were minors, including somebody as young as nine years old. A nine-year-old boy made allegations about Diddy doing something to him after he auditioned for a record deal. <sighs> this is just too much. This is too I mean, much. I was like, surprised. I really hope this is not true, but at the same time, you can't put anything past anybody, especially somebody like Diddy, who has such a bad reputation at this point. It's just really sad, and I don't feel good about covering stories like this. I know really? we got a little kiki out of the whole baby oil tidbit, but this story as a whole is very sad and very sick. Very sick and disturbing. And it just doesn't make me feel good to talk though. about. It's not right. And I don't want to see oh, any more black yeah. celebrities in the headlines over crimes like this. I really, really, really don't. Because personally, I think it will be used as an agenda to make black people look bad. I also think that they're using stories like Diddy's story as a distraction as well. Because there's so much going on in the world right now. This election season has been crazy. The tensions with Israel and Iran is getting stronger. Iran just attacked Israel. And you know the U.S. is going to be dragged into this whole conflict. So we're literally on the brink of another war. It's just crazy right now. And, you know, I even have a sick suspicion that Diddy was taken down by the feds because the feds wanted to protect some of the people that were on those recordings, including some high-profile politicians. That's what I think. The feds have been aware of what Diddy was doing for a very long time. And they've also been aware of what other elites are doing as well. They're aware of the rituals. They're the aware of the trafficking. They're aware of what these people like Hugh Hefner have, have been doing. They allowed him to get away with his trafficking for a very long time up until his death. So you mean to tell me they didn't know what Diddy was doing? Please. They know what he's been doing. But they took him down right around election season. And I don't think that's a coincidence. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about Nicki yeah, Minaj hiring make up Megan Thee Stallion's ex-best friend, Kelsey Nicole, her. She to be a model for her shoe line with Loki or Lochi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, she hired Kelsey Nicole Girl. and people thought she was petty for doing that. It's pretty obvious that Nicki and Megan don't like each other. So the fact that Nicki hired Megan's ex-friend and her biggest op is not really a surprise to me. Also, it's not a surprise that Kelsey took the job because she has issues with Megan. Just to refresh people's memory, Megan was out there smashing some of the men that Kelsey was talking to, including Tory Lanez. And when it came out that Megan slept with Tory behind Kelsey's back, they got into an argument and it actually led to that whole incident where Megan ended up getting shot at. And Tory was found guilty for pulling the trigger, but some people believe that it was really Kelsey who pulled the trigger because she was getting her revenge, allegedly. But ever since that incident, Kelsey and Megan have not been on good terms whatsoever. So Kelsey doesn't feel any loyalty to Megan. They're not friends anymore. So it's not a surprise that she would link up with Nicki Minaj, knowing Nicki and Megan's history. Now, does this make her look petty for doing this? Yes, it does. But I don't know many people in her position that would turn down an opportunity like this because she is getting a check at the end of the day. But people were not happy about this. People were going in on Kelsey and they also were going in on Nicki Minaj. That's like I was on the Girl, shade room on. and I was reading some of the move comments. On. Here are some of the comments this I is, read. Yeah. This makes me I just feel like this is just corny at this point. Y'all had y'all little back and forth, but let's move on. Even if you want to take some shots at her on your album, it's like, cool, fair game. This is y'all profession. Whatever. People diss people in their music. All right. But 
this this does feel obsessed and it, it just feels childish it's lame it's so lame again i feel like nikki married her husband strictly for his last name petty <laughs> when the that's not cute the to be ain't cute or childish it, but go off but the shoes is whack this is the most unnecessary shady move ever when both of your ops link up the only thing that had in they common like was the megan hate Kelsey was the problem from the beginning. A whack model for a whack shoe. Ooh. This was actually wildly corny. Very. You're either a friend or an enemy in disguise. Friends don't move like this when they go separate ways. The respect is always there. If I were Kelsey, I would be disappointed that I only got Nikki's attention because of my ex-friend and her beefing. You're being used, girl. Absolutely. Two desperate yes. women looking for relevance off of Megan's name. And these shoes are hideous. So these were just some of the comments I saw, and there were a bunch more. People were yeah, really, really going in. Shoes. They didn't like this at all. But hey, it's still publicity nonetheless. So as much as people are bashing it and complaining about it, you will still have some people who will buy this sneaker. Who? So sometimes outrage. Is that her works. face on the? <laughs> anyway, tell me what you all think about this. Nikki, I know you fucking lying. Whatever. <laughs> Sure. I know the Barb's gonna eat it up. They're gonna rock these shoes every day, okay? So sure, sure. This is what y'all wanna do. It's how you wanna live your life, I guess. Uh as far as Beyonce, her is supposedly getting canceled. Um, this woman don't care <laughs> what y'all talking about, because y'all said the dumbest shit. It's one thing to be like, oh, she probably has some knowledgeable what's taking place, you know, with Diddy and her husband. That's one thing to speculate. But to say that, oh, she responsible for Left Eye, Michael Jackson, and Aaliyah Dunn. What are y'all talking about? Go get help. Go get friends. Go get something. A life. Please get all of these things, because y'all not making no goddamn sense. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.